Now, on a different subject, Mr. President, I would like to take a moment to address the California drought relief bill that Senator Feinstein has been working so hard on for the past several months. There is no question that we are facing some very serious conditions across the West, and we need to be doing all we can to provide relief to the farmers in California and elsewhere. But it doesn't make any sense that this drought has gotten to the point that it has when it could have been avoided. This is a man-made crisis. The water that should have been and could have been stored behind the dams in California's Central Valley during the past several years has instead been flushed downstream to create fish habitat for the endangered Delta smelt. Now, don't get me wrong. Protecting our natural resources is important, but there is a problem with our system when we put the needs of fish, and especially this fish, ahead of the needs of people. This is happening in other states, too. We are seeing the needs to people made secondary to the regulatory requirements that may or may not even be benefiting the species that they are designed to help. I think we have some of the stupidest people in the environmental movement that you can possibly imagine. And they consistently place these trumped up situations against human beings and humankind. And it's getting real old to me. Senator Barrasso has an amendment to Senator Feinstein's bill that would bring some common sense into this situation by allowing for some flexibility for communities that are facing dire situations as a result of federal regulatory requirements. I support the Barrasso Amendment and would have liked to have seen it included in the California Drought Relief Bill. I also recognize that the farmers and farm workers in California can't afford to have Congress playing games with their livelihoods. For that reason, I am not going to object to this bill. And to have California, where some of the greatest, most productive farmlands in the world are, basically shut down for really what are stupid approaches, where there could be an accommodation to help both sides in these issues, is hard for me to understand. When the members of the California dele delegation sit down with the committees of jurisdiction to work out the differences between the Feinstein bill and the bill that has already passed the House, I would urge them to implement Senator Barrasso's proposal into the final bill. This will help rural communities across America to avoid getting into potentially disastrous situations that are caused by out-of-date, out-of-touch regulations. The economy and job creation don't have to be at odds with conservation, and this is the perfect opportunity to create some badly needed flexibility to make sure that they are not. And I, for one, would like to see that for a change in the United States Senate. I'd sure like to see us depoliticize this place where we could work together again. I've been here only 38 years, but I've got to tell you, there were many, many times in that 30 year years where we worked together. We solved the problems of America together. We had the country running well. And uh, frankly, uh, we all walked out of here feeling pretty good. Most people don't, in the Senate right now don't feel all that good. First of all, the way it's being run. Secondly, because of the partisan divides that exist on both sides, by the way. Thirdly, because we have a rough time getting people together in a bipartisan, in, 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 impressive way. And last but not least, because we don't uh, spend much time together anymore. It used to be that senators got together and cared more for each other and cared less about attacking each other and cared less about uh, some of the ridiculous, stupid things that have been going on over the last few years. I would suggest to my Democrat friends that they start thinking this over because the Senate has really gone downhill and we've got to stop it and start working together in the best interests of our country. Mr. President, I uh, suggest the absence of a quorum.